good after or morning everybody it is november is it the 8th baby can you check your phone real quick for me it is november 8th 2022 and we are in baldwin lake big bear city area of southern california in the san Bernardino national forest this is the other side of the valley you guys of, of, of what's called big bear valley so from here all the way to the dam if as the crow flies it's eight miles um, but so this side of town you guys is the side of town that gets the least amount of snow it's the same elevation as everywhere else exact same um, but we get the least amount of snow over here and that's every storm as you guys know i've coined something called the big bear snow rule and uh, the reader's digest version of that so it's not a long story is basically let's say we get six inches of snow at the big bear dam or near my house in moon ridge there will be maybe an inch over here maybe and it's tons of dry dry patches and it's like that every single storm there's never been one storm since i've lived here where they got even close to as much or more it's never like that because all our storms hit that mountain range over there at the very end and then it just dumps all of its precipitation right there and it's hitting this really dry desert climate right above us because we're right on the, the edge of the desert right here so we have all this dry desert air that all this moist ocean air is fighting with and the desert air always wins out always wins out so it's a very interesting location where we are it's it's actually pretty amazing when you really think about it we're in a very freaking awesome awesome location for different microclimates and whatnot so it's super cool um and speaking of super cool it's 42 degrees we're driving my uh, wife's rental it's this badass jeep you guys it's got all these four-wheel drive features and i think i showed you guys already heated steering wheel too and heated seats with the push of a button look at that you push that button so basically if you turn right here you're going down to lucerne valley and apple valley and whatnot but i wanted to start the video on this side of town because we haven't done a drive on this side of town for this storm yet so as you can see it's not snowing like it was supposed to i was up basically all night long because i'm always really excited about this stuff but i was up all night long because it was supposed to change to snow overnight it not only did it did it not change to snow but we didn't even get down to freezing last night and um it also stopped raining for a few hours and this morning at about 5 a.m it started raining again um but it was rain it was supposed to be snow once again they were supposed to it was supposed to change the snow at about 5 a.m well this guy's going really fast behind me so we're gonna pull over skis i won't baby so yeah so we were supposed to have snow by now you guys and unfortunately we aren't having any snow um, and it looks like what I told you guys, my prediction, remember at the beginning, I said, I think we're, we're probably going to get five or six inches of snow. Guys, I think that's going to be correct. No joke. And I'm, I hate being right about insignificant snowfall. I really hate it. But just real quick, uh, here's a view of Baldwin, Baldwin Lake. When we get a lot of rain and snow, guys, it's a huge lake right there. And it is magnificent. These homes in Baldwin over here, they get lakefront property for about two months. And uh, they could probably double the rent <laughs> for those two months. But uh, yeah, so we're not getting any snow. It's supposed to rain pretty good throughout this day, uh, Tuesday, November 8th, election day. Get out there and vote. And also, for any snow expected, it's supposed to transition from about 5 to 6 o'clock tonight from rain to snow. And it's going to be pretty heavy. But unfortunately, because of the subtropical moisture with this system and tapping into that, as it's also known as the Pineapple Express and stuff like that. Unfortunately, uh, we're just getting a lot of rain. But for those of you who know we need water up here and we know the lake needs to be full, as I've explained to you, a snowpack is good. But the problem with a snowpack and filling up our lake is a lot of that snow will evaporate before it even has a chance to get down to the lake, which is why a big steady rain is the best, best option for us. So in terms of the water getting into the lake at a decent speed or at least getting into the lake at all. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, let's see here. <coughs> so yeah, I'm, as I said, I'm expecting by the time this is all said and done tomorrow by about noon, we, we could have between three and six inches of, of, of new snow. But if we would have had snow from the beginning, you guys, I guarantee you we would have had a three foot snowstorm out of this. 
So yeah, that's disappointing for me, but I have to remind myself it is the beginning of the season. And we are getting a big storm like this early in, in the season, which if you guys watch my channel for the past seven, now eight years, um, I don't think I've recorded too much this early. The biggest snowstorm we've had early in the season was three Thanksgivings ago. And it was on Thanksgiving day and it was so great because my mom came up to visit me and she got snowed in so she had to stay and I was so excited. Um, it was a lot of snow guys, it was awesome, it was awesome. As a matter of fact, I got stuck for the first time only because someone was in the middle of the road on a big hill putting on chains in the middle of the street. And so I was losing control. If, if, if they weren't there, I would have lost control but I would have been in control if you know what I mean but I had to turn the wheel and crash into a snow berm intentionally to stop my vehicle from crashing into them. And then one of you guys, believe it or not, noticed that it was me and stopped and helped get the car out. It was one of you YouTubers and I just can't, I can't believe it. Like, thank you again to that dude. I gave him 60 bucks. It was all the money that I had on me. I was so grateful. But yeah, anyway, we're on Highway 18, guys. This is considered the backside of Highway 18. Um, so we're on Highway 18, uh, leaving the Baldwin area, heading into Big Bear City. And we're gonna take this all the way to Big Bear Lake um, to go back to the Moon Ridge area. But I just wanted you guys to see what's going on today. Get your, get your morning fix. I am sorry again to all of you who are expecting it to be snow. I'm very disappointed that I'm not able to bring any snow to your guys' eyes. But at the same time, we do need all of this. And the more heavy rains we get like this, you guys, you guys know how beautiful springtime can be up here if we have a really intense winter time. So hopefully this is a sign of things to come, a precursor to what may be. Um, I got my beautiful wife hanging with me. Say hi, baby. Hello. Hi. hi. So that is my beautiful baby. Um, as I said, you guys, she's very, very shy. And so I don't want to force her to be on any videos because that's, that's not right. It's like forcing a little kid who's scared of roller coasters to go on a roller coaster, you know, it's not nice. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I know I probably have a lot more people subscribing because she's so beautiful. <laughs> Instead of you guys having to look at me every once in a while, you could look at her, but, uh, it is what it is. And, uh, let's see here. So, once again, my predictions are three to six inches total by noon tomorrow. It's gonna transition to snow from this rain at about five or six p.m. tonight once it gets dark. As you can see up in, on the top there, it says 41 degrees. So we're dealing with a very cold, miserable rain, and you'll see that it's gonna pick up a lot more the closer we get, or the further we go towards the Big Bear Dam area, towards the John Claude Van Dam area. So, um, yeah. How are all of you doing today? I hope you all are well. I am doing great. I got a, another good night's sleep, I think, because I feel rested, but at the same time, I'm really tired. I hope you guys understand, like, it's a lot of work to, to do these videos, not because of the videos, but it's because of the comments. I love responding to you guys because it's it makes me feel super, super good. You guys are so loving and so kind and so selfless with all your words. You guys make me feel like I'm actually worth it. And uh, you know what, like besides you guys, my wife and my mom, there's there's no one else that, that makes me feel like that. So I'm super thankful for each and every single one of you and I'm always here for you. Any questions you have, when you come up to Big Bear, don't ever hesitate to send me a, a question or a comment or anything about if you need any information about this town or certain things to do. If I know something, I will definitely tell you all. I wanna help you, so I want you guys to come up here and have a blast why I give you guys shortcuts and everything so you're not wasting your time um, on the road the whole time. But yeah, so check it out. Look at look at how heavy this rain is coming down, guys. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. We're on, once again, Highway 18. So it's really weird how this works, you guys. You see this sign right here where it says on the bottom, if you go straight, you're on Highway 38. So Highway 18 changes. If you turn left here, then you'll turn into Highway 18 once you get to Big Bear Boulevard. So Highway 18, AKA Big Bear Boulevard. Um, it's really interesting how this works, but now we're on Highway 38 and we didn't make any changes. That's why it can be so confusing for people. You really need to pay attention over here because you could end up in the freaking desert and be like, what the heck is going on here? 
So, anywho, we got some good puddles to have some fun in. I like, I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited about all this weather. Uh, thank you guys again, as I thank you every video for being so loving towards me. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll never ever stop saying thank you. I just sometimes, I don't know what I did to deserve all the love and respect that you guys show to me. And the first time I showed my uh, wife on these videos, you guys were so loving and so kind. And you have no idea how that makes me feel. Like, it makes me feel great. So thank you so much. And, and I'm once again, I'm always here for you guys, just like you're here for me. We got each other's back. Wow, look at the rain, guys. When we were just over in the Baldwin area, it was, uh, there, were, there were blue sky patches. And that's the way it always is, guys. As I said, we could be having a blizzard over by my house and then it, like there will be blue skies in the Baldwin area. It's just amazing to me. Every single storm, there's, there's no difference. It's significantly less out there every time. So for those of you who are not interested in staying in the, in, in the snow as much, you could try to find an Airbnb out in Baldwin Lake, you guys. It's called Baldwin Lake. Um, it's, I feel it gets colder out there. There aren't hardly any trees at all. It's just desert. But uh, yeah, it's colder out there, but not nearly as much snowfall. Can't wait to get this video uploaded. Get you guys going. I was hoping I'd be doing a video at five in the morning today, guys, because I thought it was supposed to change over to snow. But no. And this, what we're seeing right now, this heavy rain is gonna pick up even more believe it or not. I mean, it's coming down good right now, but it's going to pick up even more in about an hour or two. Um, it's it's, it's going to be nasty. And I'm a little bit concerned because of the tree branches at my house. Uh, it's been really windy. And I don't know if you guys remember, but about four years back, one of our bigger snowstorms, my next door neighbor's house, a big tree branch came crashing through his freaking bedroom roof. And thank goodness he wasn't there. But uh, it's it's very, 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 very possible for that to happen where I live or anywhere up here where, when you're, obviously when you're under trees, duh, obviously, but. And let me show you guys where I crashed. We're coming up to it right, right now. I was going the other direction and you'll probably see stuff on the road still. So here's the church, St. No, that's not it. It's this next, this next entrance, St. Joseph's, I believe, St. Joseph's Catholic Church, right up here where this car is passing in front of us. Uh, so if you look on the sides of the road, you'll probably see some stuff from my car maybe. But right here's where I crashed, right here, right there. I wasn't paying attention and ran right into the back of her. I feel so horrible about that. Thank goodness she was okay. Um, and thank goodness I'm okay. But yeah, so now we're coming up to Stanfield Cutoff, ladies and gentlemen. And we are almost done with the video. Yo. Hang on a second. So I can patch the video together. So I better wait. So this is one of my favorite roads for views in town when we have, you know, nice weather going on. Because once we come up here a little bit on the right hand side, it's the most spectacular view. the most spectacular view of the lake it's pretty amazing you guys but right now you're not going to get any real good good view of it over there and then out this way is a view of Baldwin you're not gonna be able to see it there it is there's the Baldwin area way out there thank you for, thank you for, wait there's the lake a little bit oh my wife is so cute she pulled it down and sold herself Wow, baby, thank you. Thank you. Like slapped me in the face. <laughs> poor baby, my poor baby. Okay, she got, she got slapped. She got <laughs> slapped in the face. Had a mini shower. I didn't expect it to be so. What? It's very wet out here, guys. It's so wet and windy. And the rain is coming down very heavy. Alright, so... Does your whole family watch this 
this film? Yes. Okay, so I know I know that my wife's family watches this channel. Probably the real reason is to make sure my just to see my baby and to hear her, just 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 make sure everything's okay, but um I'd like to shout all of you guys out. Say hello. You're probably not watching this far into the video, but um may I shout them out? Rosie, which is my mom, my mother-in-law, Lorenzo, which is my son, Taylor, which is my daughter. Um, let's see here. Uh, um, um, oh my gosh. Robert, my brother, and my other brother, Lawrence. Why am I forgetting that? Oh my, Lawrence, forgive me, bro. I know, I know you're not watching right now, so you're not gonna be able to beat me oh, up because you're not gonna hear it. it. Oh no, dude. Oh no, That's dude. It. Guys, my <laughs> my wife's family are big, big they dudes are super nice. and super so sweet. sweet. But like, I can tell that they're very supportive, and uh, they would definitely uh, protect you if you need a protection. They're 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 very sweet, sweet, loyal family, and I'm very blessed to have them in my life. I can't believe they actually watch this freaking channel, but my son Lorenzo, dude, the coolest, coolest young man ever. What's up, Lorenzo, buddy? How you doing, man? I hope you're kicking butt and taking names on the games today. Um, just a super bright, bright young man, and um, he's really amazing at freaking video games. Um, just amazing. And I've noticed that all my friends growing up who were always very good at gaming make a lot of money today. <laughs> And we're getting sheets of rain coming down, guys. Holy sheets of rain. I didn't curse. I didn't curse. Anywho. Yeah, guys, so this is what's going on in Big Bear area. We just came from the part of town that gets the least amount of precipitation during these winter type storms, which come from the north and, and west. In the summertime, Baldwin gets hit first, though, because they get the monsoons first, the, the monsoonal moisture first. So it's interesting how it works up here. These puddles. That is awesome. Super awesome. So yeah, you guys. Thank you guys again for absolutely everything. And if you guys are still watching, all one of you who are still watching, check it out. This place right here, Knight's Automotive. This is a really good friend of mine, Dave Knight. If you have any problems with anything up here, you guys, with your, your vehicle, bring it here, okay? So not only is he, I'll explain to you how I know him really, really quickly, just so you know that it's a closer friendship. We moved up here at the same time, within like three weeks in two, of each other in 2015. We didn't know each other, but he ended up getting a job at that place, it was called Greg's Automotive. And so I met him there and he was just super, super cool. We became friends, I became friends with his wife, his kids, just, just amazing people. Um, long story short, he ended up buying Greg's Automotive and changed it to Knight's Automotive, K-N-I-G-H-T-S. And I trust him so, We he's my, my main Harley Davidson friend where we go riding together. He's my main riding buddy. And uh, basically, I trust him so much, you guys, that I tell you guys, if you feel like you're being ripped off from by him, I'll pay for your service. I promise you, you're not gonna get at all taken advantage of. He might not be the most expensive one out there. He might not be the least expensive one out there, but he, he will do the job right. And that's what's important, is I, is I need you guys to be safe up here, especially if you have any incidents up here. So, we're gonna go through these roundabouts real quickly no one next to us or it's gonna kind of take the short quick route oh look at the sign someone already hit the sign look at that babe yep you missed it I'm sorry that's right but look they hit the trash can too it was crazy over here the other day we should come by and, and record on, on a snow day okay that would be fun that's what I do babe so we will definitely do that for sure you, like this, you point out this so that we can show everybody how you know people are driving through here. you just point out where and I promise you I will do it <laughs> I will do it. I'll do it, y'all. Do it, do it, do it. Put your back and do it. Do it. Put your back and do it. Okay, <laughs> here's the zoo right here. We're just going to go around to Bear Mountain and come back around, and we're going to be done, done, done. 
Here's the new zoo, as I said. Haven't been there yet, but I will do a video there when I go. I'm excited. Excited. One cool thing about our zoo, you guys, is that they actually, um, I don't know if it's still the same, same way. Same. So the cool thing about our zoo up here, because I don't like seeing animals locked up like that, you guys. It's, it's I've just, I have a, a much bigger heart for animals than a lot of people do. And one thing that made me happy about it is that these animals were found, for instance, whenever we have big fires up here or just, just natural bad events up here, um, they rescue the animals at that zoo right there. And then once the animals are healthy again, if they feel the animals can go back out and survive on their own again, we release them. So it's it's a really beautiful thing. They they, they help rehabilitate these, these guys and gals back to health and then they'll let them go most of the time unless they just can't care for themselves anymore on their own. So it, it's 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 a it's a beautiful thing that they do there. So thank you, Big Bear Zoo, for doing that. And yeah, we're coming up to Bear Mountain. This is the location that made me want to stay or move up here. I mean, besides my mom having a place in Lake Arrowhead when I was a kid. Uh, this is where my older brother, who I don't get along with anymore, he took me here for my first time when I was 10 and a half, and it was the best experience I've ever had. I've, I've traveled the world, you guys, and this is still the most fun, best experience I've ever had is being here with him. I hope he sees this so he can hear that, but anyway, that's Bear Mountain. They're making snow. As you guys can see, they have snow on one of the runs already. It's just so cool. And then there's Easy Street right there. It's a, it's a run for people like me who don't have courage. And we are going to pull over and let this guy by. But yeah, this is what's going on up here today, guys. We got a lot of rain. Temperature has dropped, but we are at a higher elevation at the base of Bear Mountain, so that's why it says 39 degrees. Um, it's just unfortunate that it's so much rain. I wish it was snow. The cold rain, you guys, is miserable. Miserable. This is where the old zoo was, and they, they tore it down quickly. They, they took everything. Wow, they really took everything out of there quickly. This was where the zoo was located. Anyway, if any of you were planning on coming up here for the snow at all, if I was you, I would literally stop watching this video and get your butt up here right away. Very important because it is, uh, it is gonna be nasty tonight. And it's uh, a concern of mine is also when you guys are driving through areas like the Little Arctic Circle. Um, these, this heavy rain is gonna dislodge a lot of the rocks and there are some severe incidents that happen due to rocks falling on cars. And I don't want you guys to be stuck in traffic while the rocks are falling. So try to get up here as soon as you can. If, if you're gonna leave, try to get up here before five o'clock, before it transitions to snow, you guys. Um, if not, then I suggest you try to get up here after it's all said and done. So maybe come up here on Thursday and you'll be able to see what's going on in town because I'll show you just so you can have that visual to keep yourself safe or at least see what's going on so you know what to expect. Because once again, without you guys, none of us get a chance to live here unless you're super wealthy and retired because you guys come up here and it's you guys who keep these jobs up here. You guys create the jobs up here. You guys create the tourist industry up here. Um, once again, I'm so grateful for you guys. If it's not for you guys, we can't live here because how are we supposed to work? So and make money and pay rents and pay this and pay that. So thank you guys so much. Um, most of the people here are really, really just uh, excited for you guys to be up here. And we love meeting you guys and just showing you guys a lot of love because once again, we got to get out of living down the mountain. Not that Newport Beach was a bad area or where my wife's from, Whittier area is a bad area, or, but it's like just being up in the mountains and in the trees and stuff it, it beats anything it really does it beats everything else so thank you guys and once again don't ever hesitate to ask me any questions 
you guys are never annoying me not as much as I'm annoying you guys because I know I just drive around and I never shut the heck up and it's funny a lot of you guys have, have left me comments like that saying like wow I never thought I'd be watching some guy driving around a little town I've, ne I've, I've never heard of while it's snowing and doesn't shut up but yet I'm enthralled the whole time <laughs> it's so funny so funny I take it in a very positive way when you when I get those types of comments so thank you guys and we're gonna go through the roundabout and then we're gonna shut off the video. Yo. Video yo. Video yo. So what's the what's the scenario? Alright. Once again, November 8th, 2022. It's 1115 in the morning in Big Bear Lake, California on Moon Ridge Road. Um, we've probably had an inch of rain, maybe an inch and a half of rain from this storm so far, which would have tr translated into a foot and a half of snow, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, the snow will be coming this evening, I promise, I promise, but the totals, as I said, are probably going to be as minuscule as I originally suggested they would be, so thanks again, you guys. I love you guys with all my heart. I want you to be safe and have a wonderful time up here on your vacations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and baby, say goodbye to our friends. Goodbye, friends. Bye, friends. We love you very much. Thank you again for everything. And we will be talking to y'all later once it starts snowing. Unless we get just literally Niagara Falls of rain, then I'll do another video. But until this evening, love you all. Talk to you later. Okay, Bye. guys. <laughs> These are the beanies. So I'm going to post this short little video for both of the, or for a lot of my future videos. But yeah, we've got all black these are all 100 percent fine merino wool different color patches on some of them too just absolutely stunning these are stunning you guys as i said we got 96 of them boom shakalaka so yeah so these are these are the colors we've got hope you guys enjoy them love y'all